Stevenson gets the 12-11 win over Randolph Macon here today at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark, MC McFadden, now joined by the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Kathy Raley. Coach, a wins, a wins, a wins, a win, right? There's so much relief to the fact that we could win a game. I almost am kind of excited that it was close and that we got to see that we are capable of elevating our game with three or four minutes left. We're capable of getting better on defense. We're capable of moving the ball well on offense. So I was really happy to see that we were able to win the close one today. Your scoring was really spread out today. You had two defenders score. Mm -hmm. You had a multitude of goals from the midfield. Right. Few goals from the attack. We know that's been an issue you've been talking sure. about getting your attack to score sure. more. Were you pleased with the scoring balance Absolutely. today? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we tried to change up the draw to see if we can't uh, have different looks as we head off the draw and down into the attacking end. And, you know, to watch Jamie Bittner get the opening draw and head downfield and just rip the upper corner, that was, <laughs> that was a thing of beauty. That was a thing of beauty. <laughs> so, you know, that set the tone for a good portion of the first half. So I think that, you know, that's important. Goal, singular goals can really set the tone of what your team is, is capable of doing and what they should be doing. And everybody wants to look like that. So, so and I, you know, I think coming from, um, coming behind that, Carly had so many key goals. Carly Bose had so many key goals. But we had goals from everybody. We had, you know, freshmen scoring. We had sophomores scoring. So that's a lot of fun to see. And that really bodes well for us in the future, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about the negatives. <laughs> Second, hey, second. How long's your show? Yeah. <laughs> second <laughs> half draw controls, oh. um, and the clearing for the totality of the game. Yes, uh, it would. I would assume those are the two areas that really jump Absolutely. off. Absolutely. You know, we have had difficulty clearing this year, and and part part of it is because our attackers are not working hard enough to get open, and they're aware of this, and we work on this. We actually started a drill that they hate called the castle, and they'll be doing it every day <laughs> until they can get to the point where they're comfortable cutting two the ball shaking their defender and making a difference in in the clear we can't expect to beat great teams by having our defense carry the ball our four defenders carry the ball up time after time after time our midfield's not getting the ball in transition our attackers aren't getting the ball in transition and that has to change so um yes absolutely going to work on that you know as far as the draw control goes you know i thought we had some unlucky breaks in that um i thought sometimes we were first to touch the ball and not necessarily the team that came up with it but then even after that occurred I thought we kind of settled in and played you know we had some good cause turnovers down the other side even though they got a lot of the draws at the end we need a drawler that can put it where she intends to we have a lot of drawlers who can win it um, to our offensive side but sometimes another team's outside girl is better on a, a, yeah. towards our offensive side than our our outside circle girl so we need a draw person who can put it defensive who can put it down the line who can put it straight up on a more regular basis and we're still trying to figure out who that is you know when you have so many young players it's really hard to figure out who that player is is it one player is it one player is really good at one thing and maybe not another so so we're, we're getting there and it's early yes we take a lot of stats on that so <laughs> sure i got my i got my reading <laughs> cut out for me tonight yes but it, another positive to this game is mac ferguson yeah she comes up big when mac ferguson needs to come she up big. does <laughs> she does you know she likes to play in close yeah. And the closer in it gets and the closer the game gets, the more that she steps up. If, if we can get Mac to make the first save of the game, I almost feel like I know we're going to win. Yeah. Um, if she can make that first shot that was taken and, and have eyes on it, I, like I just relax at that point. So that's always wonderful. Today she had difficulty tracking in the beginning of the game. You know, and sometimes with the afternoon games, even though this is our home field, there's some sun difficulties in this, uh, on this yeah, field. Yeah, we noticed that. So uh, we did not end up on the great side of things yeah. um, for some of that. But, uh, you know, I thought she had a good game today. Absolutely had a good game today. And every, you know, I think all, all of our players, um, you know, we have Amanda Budkey, a freshman yeah. who never started before. She had some key ground balls and she had some key sliding moves. Today. I thought she did a really great job today. So we're happy that we are starting to get a little depth with some of our younger players. We call her Bud. She's all Bud. Right. She's Bud. All right. I promised that I would ask this in the postgame oh, show, so I can't no. chicken out now. Uh, all right. Uh, Near 
the end of the shot clock in the first half, there was a situation where you seemed to run an isolation play for Carly. Uh huh. Cleared everybody out. Carly ran hard to her right and went and scored. Okay. A couple next couple of possessions ended up being shot clock violations, and I said, MC, I'm a dumb guy. <laughs> All right, I know nothing. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just run the same play in those spots? Okay. So, so I'm gonna be the dumb guy and ask the, the same. Dumb guy. Okay. You're not All the right. dumb guy. Um, we try, you know, especially when you're up, we try not to be one dimensional. Okay. We're very aware that Carly can take a one on one if the matchup is good, and that's a great thing to have. But the more we do it, the more they're ready to go. So executing our plays as called and utilizing every second of the clock while we're up and leading the game was key. Um, however, what that ended up doing, and here's why you 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 are a smart person, <laughs> is um, I think it really kind of got our defense kind of cold, and all that whole playing attack, the midfield got a little bit more tired than we were used to. Okay. But one of our focuses coming into this game was to control the clock. We weren't going to shoot in the first couple seconds we, unless we were open enough to do it. And you know what? Carly is an amazing athlete, but even she can't run to goal 52 times a game no. and play defense and take the draw. So she need, sometimes gets to have a rest on the attack. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. You're I right. feel – now I'm smarter. You see how that worked out? No, I'm yeah. smarter. We're all smarter after an interview. I know. Yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a little while before we see you next. Yes, it is. Enjoy yeah. the trip. Right now yet. until 2019, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that way, no that. more home games. See you, everybody. The good news is... You got to win. You got to win. Yeah, You're in the right. win column. Coach, Thank always appreciate Lord. it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. She is Coach Kathy Raley. 